Now, let's talk about trims. The trims on the Dominator are these rear buckles right here. Now, on my riser, they are a little different. This riser right here is called a Super Cruise riser. This trim buckle activates both speed bar and trim. That way I don't have to push the speed bar, but it does lock the speed bar up. On a typical Dominator riser, it does not come like this. And trim only activates the trim, not the speed bar. Now, trims on the Dominator account for roughly 40% of the speed. The speed bar, another 60%. So if you want to fully accelerate the Dominator, trims down being 0%. Trims up, you 40% accelerate it. Speed bar activated and trimmed, you then are 100% activated. So, what trim settings do you use for what situation? Launching. You want to launch with your trims up. This riser is a little different, but normally the trim buckle is about this long. So you just let the trim all the way up. The speed bar hangs out up here on the front. Let those trims all the way up and you launch trims up. The reason you want to launch trims up is because trims down makes it easier to stall the glider because it's like you're already pulling brake. The trims pull the rear half of the glider down, which means you're already slowing down the glider. You're at a higher risk of stalling the glider. On launch, you want as much brake authority as possible before you stall the glider because you might have to make a correction because it's coming up to the side or pull some brake to keep yourself from falling onto your face or to get into the air. Bottom line is you want some brake authority on launch without having to stall the glider. Now trims up means you're going to launch faster. You're going to be running faster. Not that big of a deal because you have the brakes to then lift you up and kind of hold you up while you skip across the ground but you are going to be running faster I've never really launched with them down uh, I don't want to have I don't want to accidentally stall the glider while I'm running so I want to decrease the risk of stalling the glider while launching as much as possible because with the brake you can afford to keep yourself from falling onto your face face planning uh, so that's that's that that's why I do that now what about halfway? Hypothetically, you could. You could put it halfway down and launch and you'd be okay. I've never done it. Uh, it's just a risk of stalling it. So if you're super aware of where it is and making sure that you don't stall it and you've learned how to prevent stalls, what the stalls feel like through repetition and practice on the ground, then you'll be okay. But I launched trims up. Okay, once you get in the air, I usually launch, get up, start my climb out, get everything under control, pull the trims down. I don't like to fly around too long trims up because trims up is a less stable position for the dominant. Trims down is the most stable. You can go through bumps and it will collapse less likely than trims up. Collapses are less violent trims down than they are trims up. And all around the glider is more stable trims down. So I launch, I pull the trims down, I then fly the entire flight trims down unless I'm intentionally trying to get somewhere faster. Like if I wanted to get to that pier as fast as possible, I could put my trims up to get there as fast as possible. Now, by putting the trims up, I then am going to have to use more power to compensate for the extra, the less lift. Trims down is more lift, trims up is less lift. So by putting them up, I'm going to have to accelerate a little bit on the power. So I fly around with trims down unless I'm trying to get somewhere faster. 
If it's a little bumpy, I won't really put the trims up only because I like to just cruise and relax. Uh, if it's perfectly smooth, throw those trims up, cruise to where you're trying to cruise to, you're good. If you're doing any form of maneuvers, diving near the ground, acro, wing overs, any of that stuff, do them trims down. That's the most stable flying position you have. Launch with them up, fly with them down. In this particular situation, mine are down. It's just a slightly bumpy out here, which isn't that big of a deal. I could fly with them up, but I'm just cruising with them down. Now for landing, which one do you want? Trims down for landing. Let me explain trims up. Trims up means up here, you push the trim buckle up. Trims down means you pull the cord down, pulling the trim buckle down. So trims up, you push them up, you accelerate the glider. Trims down, you pull them down, you decelerate the glider. Trims up for launch. Pull them down after you've gotten up. Fly with them down unless you're trying to get somewhere faster. Land with them down. That's that.